So, I've had this kind of crazy idea for a while, but hear me out. I love sleeping. I love my bed. As anyone should. We spend like a third of our lives in one. But what if we could spend our whole lives in bed? See, I've been concocting a sort of self-contained loafer's utopia built entirely around a bed frame. We'd start out with a nice jumbo-sized bed with a big soft mattress and give it a big canopy frame. Let's add a good selection of pillows. We want choices. Then at the foot of the bed, bam, a full-blown movie screen. We'll put the projector at the headboard, some surround sound speakers, and we could put some cabinets here to hold a selection of comfy pajamas. I bet we could fit an enclosed 3D printer in there as well. Then on the left wall here, we can add some amenities, like one of those showers with a toilet inside. And over here, we'll have a small kitchen space with a little mini fridge. Above us, a full climbing wall, so you can crawl around like a spider and get all the exercise you need. That's basically all I need. And we've still got a whole extra wall. What would you put on it? I'm open to suggestions. Anyways, that's my loafer's utopia. And while it's a pretty big and probably insane undertaking, I finally have the opportunity to start following my dreams thanks to X Gimme. They're an award-winning projector company and they have a whole fleet of fantastic projectors for a whole variety of situations and setups. They wanted to work with me and I shared my idea of this grand vision of a movie theater in my bed. And somehow they were down and they offered to send me their Halo portable projector. This thing is awesome. It's a remarkably capable projector that puts out bright and crisp projections in 1080p. It's super compact, runs on Android TV with Chromecast, and it can last for two to four hours on battery power alone. XGimme even teamed up with the legendary audio company Harman Kardon to include two powerful 5 watt speakers, all within this tiny 3.5 pound package. That makes it perfect for impromptu situations like an outdoor movie night. But we're not going outside today. I want to watch movies from the comfort of this bed. So today we're going to build a nice big screen at the foot of my bed, mount a projector back here, and bam, home bed movie theater. I'm so excited. Let's do it. Cool. So we've got a projector, that's fantastic. That's already a big part of the equation for having a bed movie theater. But we're still missing another part of the equation and that's the screen. So let's talk about that part first because since this is a prototype, I was trying to do things really on the cheap here. I want it to work really well, but I'm also trying to keep the price down. So I started out by sourcing this super cheap stretchy screen from Amazon and it was like $17. This thing is pretty awesome because it's elastic so you can pretty much stretch it out and get rid of all the wrinkles and then you can just curl it up into a ball and store it when you need to. And for this version of my movie screen bed, I wanted to be really quick to build up and take apart because it is gonna shrink the room down a bunch to have a big movie screen here. So my thinking was that I could just put a pole on either side of the foot of the bed and just stretch this screen across. And at first I thought I'd use PVC or something like that, but in the end, the cheaper option ended up being lumber. I went with these six foot long one by twos that only cost a couple of bucks each. I did get lucky and found the only two straight pieces in the store. So all I had to do was give them a light sanding to avoid any splinters. I'm using a sanding sponge here, which makes it a bit easier to apply even pressure and not take off too much material. Next, I started measuring the foot of my bed frame. I measured every dimension I could because my plan was to 3D print some kind of fixture that connects the wooden beams to the bed without any additional hardware. And that requires some precise work to get right. I started sketching out some ideas for the mount 
and quickly realized that 3D printing something strong enough to keep the wood upright against the tension of the screen was going to take a lot of time and material. Two things I was trying to avoid here. So I reconsidered my approach and decided to just bolt the wood straight to the bed frame. Nice and simple. I used this box to get a good consistent height for the beam, which I lined up flush to the edge of the bed frame and clamped into place. Dremel sent me this really cool laser measuring tool that came in handy. I used it to measure the distance between the beams down to an eighth of an inch. And by measuring at different points, I was able to ensure that the beams were in fact parallel. It also helped me figure out the width of my screen. Since I have access to Natalie's sewing expertise, we decided to trim the screen to width and bring in the edge so I can still make use of the grommets for mounting. This sheer and stretchy fabric is really tricky to deal with, so I used this large ruler to try and get a straight edge. Then I put down some masking tape to keep it from shifting. That makes it much easier for me to trim the fabric. And then I'll repeat the process to trim the side with the edge as well. Next, I'll line up the new edges and hold things in place with pins to leave for Natalie to stitch together. Meanwhile, it was time to finish mounting our wood beams. I got these three inch bolts that are perfect for this job. So with everything still clamped in place, I just went ahead and started drilling. I was a little worried about the bed frame being robust enough since it's made of particle board, but with the washers there to spread the force, I was able to tighten the bolt and get a really snug fit. We'll have two bolts per beam to make sure they stay upright. I'll start with a pilot hole using a small drill bit, and that helps guide the larger drill and makes it easier to get a clean result. I also go in and out with several passes to help clear the wood chips, which is also good practice. Another tight bolt, and this thing is stiff enough to shake the whole bed. That's good. And since I saved so much time mounting with bolts instead of printing something, I figured I could quickly paint these beams black to match the rest of the bed frame. The paint was going on all thin and weird, and that's when I realized I accidentally grabbed an oil-based paint. Noxious, sticky, and slow to dry. So I only had time to do one coat and I had to leave them outside to dry for a day instead of a few hours, but in the end, they turned out okay. By now, Natalie had finished sewing the edges of the screen together, and it was my turn to remove the tape. It was quite tricky to get all that tape off, but absolutely worth it for the clean stitch. With the tape off, Nat was able to go back over that stitch with a more robust double stitch to make sure it could handle the stretching it'll undergo. Here's the result. It came out super nice. Finally, it's time to install our screen and see how it looks. So I remounted the painted beams. They go up really quick and easy, so I'm happy about that. And then I've got these bad boys. Some extra long thumbtacks that we can hook the grommets to. My plan was to stick these tacks on the back of the beam so the screen can wrap around and stay taut. I wasn't getting quite enough stretch this way, so I just moved the tack around one more corner and that was enough to do the trick. So I stuck a tack in each corner as well as two more halfway up each beam and with that, we have ourselves a bona fide movie screen. Now let's see what went into setting up our projector. I wanted to mount this on the headboard so our theater is entirely contained within this bed. Now, the power cables stick out the back here, and I'd rather have the projector farther back, so I'm just gonna pull the bed off the wall a bit. I like the idea of it being flush with the board, like this. So, I'll measure the headboard for reference, and as for the XJimmy Halo, it's got some subtle curves, so for something like this, I like to use my flatbed scanner. I'll scan this flat top profile, and then I can bring that image into Adobe Illustrator 
and get this really accurate outline of its shape to scale. Now I can take that outline and bring it into Fusion 360 to help me build my mount. I came up with this fairly simple design with the intention of making it very easy to 3D print. It happens to look like the number four, but it's really just designed to hold the projector in place and transfer its weight into the side of the headboard. And of course, it prints without supports. All right, it's printing time. I'm printing this on my new Sovel SV01 Pro, and I'm using Filamentum's UFO Metallic CPE filament. CPE is a pretty tricky material to print, but it can produce some really nice, strong parts. The print was looking really good halfway through, but when I came back to the finished print, I noticed some real big cracks right through the middle. I guess a warmer enclosure would have really helped here, and maybe a higher nozzle temperature too. Well, it's certainly still worth testing. The fit on the headboard is really snug, and it seems super sturdy. The projector also just barely fits, but I soon realized that the halo projects its image at a slight upward angle. Whoops. Well, that gives me the perfect opportunity to upgrade my design. For this version, I tilted the projector down 10 degrees to make sure it hits my screen where I want it. I also made the walls thinner because this time I'll be printing with super strong carbon fiber nylon filament. Again, the X-Jimmy Halo is rather lightweight, so I don't need an insanely beefy stand. And with the CF nylon, I can print with really low infill, which will save me time and filament. This is the Chidi brand CF nylon filament, and I'm printing it on their Chidi XCF Pro 3D printer, which is pretty much designed specifically for this material. The XCF Pro is a fully enclosed 3D printer it's got an all-metal hot end, a hardened nozzle, and even a filament dry box. And I've got to say, this print came out looking pristine. I mean, I know it's a simple print, but wow. It sure is satisfying. I made some slight adjustments to the measurements, so thankfully this version fits on the bed perfectly. I also made the top looser so it doesn't risk damaging the projector. But most importantly, the picture fits perfectly on my screen. You can see the Halo using its awesome autofocus feature that automatically calibrates it to fit the frame and stay in focus. It's super handy. So it's official. My bed is now a movie theater. And right off the bat, I'm going to call this project an absolute success. The video looks great, the sound is fantastic, the projector is quiet so having it right by our heads isn't a bother, and it's quite bright. If I close the curtains, I can get a nice bright image any time of day. Alright, I don't know what else to say, this thing is awesome. It's truly like having my own personal movie theater in my bed, and I love it. As for this x skimmy Halo projector here, well, I've only had it for a couple of days, but I'm already super impressed with the image and sound quality coming out of this little tiny portable device. It's a pretty awesome piece of technology, and it's Prime Day, so if you check out the link in the video description, you can get it on sale right now. If you have a vision like mine, I'm pretty sure you'll jump on that. Still, this is only the beginning of my grand vision for the all-in-one dream bed, so Make sure you're subscribed if you want to see what comes of it. And if you have any comments or suggestions, leave them below. Most importantly, make sure you get plenty of rest. And as always, stay inspired. <laughs>